Welcome back <laughs> to the shattered halls of my mind. They're coming. Well, that's rude. Give them some privacy. Ah, more vent crawling. This game is playing to my strengths. Hmm. Not that way, I guess. been on a binge watching spree of watching people get horribly murdered apparently no well sort of uh, have you ever seen dr. horrible sing-along blog I highly recommend it if you've ever seen it I'm told Joss Weason is kind of a dick looking at his personal history that's pretty true but the man can still do art plus it's filled with Great AI. Hey, more drugs. Great A actors like uh, Nathan Fillion, Neil NPH, Neil Patrick Harris. Man's a living legend. And the ever delightful Felicia Day, who has her own channel here in YouTube lands. He didn't make it. If I remember right, she does the show with Will Wheaton, who I mostly know from Star Trek. His aura disappeared before he died. And he died in a very horrible way. Hey, I guess she was hungry. Terror is not the sight of death. I know that it voice. is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Must the Black Widow devour the whole fly? Child of Malkov. You should understand better than any other the debilities of some of these bloodlines. A spider? No, they drink only blood. My own condition is more like the mantis. I must also eat the flesh of these kind to survive. Black widows weave tangled webs in the dark. How do I address you, widow? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why did you build your web here, widow? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen it too much. Ooh, magical treasures.
The spy has seen the spy. The fly has seen the spider. It will not fly willingly into the web. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. She has a point. Like honey, I will catch the fly for you. She's been here for a while. Dip. Gotta go through all of that again. I don't think you ever really... I'm not sure which clan she belongs to, Pisha. If I remember right, they hail from Egypt, though I can't remember what they're called. The Setites? That sounds familiar. Ah, that's in my way. up and toss stretchers like ragdolls, but a couple of planks get in my way. That's just annoying. Mm, business card. He must have took off running. Haunted LA. The name on the card is Simon Milligan. Skyline Apartments. Ap apartment 1. Downtown LA. Yeah, if I, it was his apartment that we had gone into earlier and saw the emails. What must the Jester Prince be thinking? We've been ignoring going to that ship for a little while now. I suppose all this could have been done in a single night. If someone went down the back alleyway. Oh, the pretty lady. <laughs> Just bite the neck, dude. That you're just you're like ripping into it like a damn pizza. Hey, fat Larry. My man, what is up? We should probably yo, pick yo, up some yo, extra I got ammo. Eggs. We don't know what kind. Buy them and hatch them. Yo, yo, yo. Koala ears. Lazy eye hammocks and dwarf saddles right here. Hey, hey, hey don't walk on by. I look like T.I. Warwick. There we go. I just cannot get over the destructive power of this fucking magnum. The, the shoddy worked pretty good on the rudder canker, so who am I to say? Maybe I should have got some shells. Why is there blood on the door? think it's hilarious and funny, and you will certainly not stop me as I go down. Why is there blood on the wall? There's blood everywhere in this game! And 4-1. Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. There he is. Wow, he is still panicked. I would have calmed down by now. Your mistress, the moon, calls. Run towards it for the rest of your days. Wait. 
That won't help me, will it? Nah. Yes, yes, the moon. I have to catch the moon. <laughs> I must hold her. I must hold her in my arms. I must tell her how much I adore her glow. Her glow. Out of my way, the moon. Run. She's always on about that. Let's see. You have dealt with with the reporter Patricia. Go back to the abandoned hospital and tell her. Sure. I thought we were supposed to send her back to her. But maybe Patricia won't care as long as he's dealt with. He must have got over it. I guess it wasn't that funny. Yep, just another day in America. Flash my gun at anyone that sees me. And my knife, apparently. Seriously? Though I still prefer the katana. One of the easiest playthroughs I ever had in this game was a Ventru built up like a swordsman. The man was unkillable. He debuffed anything around him and increased his soak by ever how much, what was it, fortitude I had? And by the end of the game, when you have fortitude at four points, it's just, it's ridiculous. You walk through gunfire. And at the same time, you're a master swordsman. Anything in my path just got cut in half. Not to mention their uh, natural social cues. Half the time I didn't have to fight at all. I just talked my way out of a situation. But we're a child of Malakad, and we are batshit insane. People like talking to us, but we're not the most persuasive. Usually. Sometimes we're really good at it. For instance, telling people to chase the moon. They'll do it for the rest of their days. We're just that good at talking. Hey, Pisha. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? Sanity no longer exists in his mind. No one will believe him. That may be sufficient, but the only way to be sure would have been to kill him. You should not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. The fly's wings are clipped. Tell me of the prizes. Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. Hmm. I will make this trade. Tell me of the museum prize. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. Cool. If it finds me, I will introduce you to it. Oh, sweet. She'll give me a magical trinket if I hand over a piece of carved lumber. Well, do I really have to go through this every single time? Well, there's a new whisper. Not the most friendly one either. In what corner of my brain did I find him?
We might literally be out of things to do now. It might be finally time to go to the Dane. Maybe. Who knows? It could be time to be enlightened. Brother. Come on. There we go. I honestly thought there might be some trinket in there or something. Indeed he was. Dispatch that plague bearer. Anyone wander around the dark alleyway? I'm a little hungry. Nope. Damn katana. You know, oddly enough, I think in real life it might cause more panic if you just wander around with a sword like that. You wander around with a gun like that? Especially this that small little thing? No. Well, the little pea shooter. I think you'd cause more panic with the sword, even though it's far less deadly. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Hey, was your king? Of course. What is it you would like to know? Of course. I see. Well, return when you have more information. I guess he's not going to help me with that bit. Is this always turning itself off? I don't understand. Anyways, we have level 3 obfuscate now. Can perform stealth kills while staying invisible. Do not touch victims or containers. Additionally, the first melee or unarmed attack will get a 50% bonus. Not bad. Yeah, our brawl went up. And our decks finally went up, something on the physical side. Malcat, you are an interesting bloodline. Did I tell Damsel about the Brother Kanker? I don't remember. I guess I should probably stay a little fresh with my playthrough since I was spacing it out. But, you know, life happens. I guess that'd be a little obvious. Yeah, what he said. Damn crab nipple. Nothing new from her, anyways, and maybe we left there before we suffered another copyright infringement. Who could say? I look like I escaped from a farm. Yeah. 
You are the seed that takes this lemon to its destiny. Hurry. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? You say so. Anyways, we gotta make our way out to the beach. I wonder if our little uh, thin bloods are still hanging out out there. Listening to not smaller god. I say you preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. What has set great mercury by the waters? I just wanted to make sure you knew my appreciation. And like I said before, if someone needs something, I can get it. This boat, for example. How fleet your feet, Mercury. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. I'll close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that feeling. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Hmm. What about if he has for sale? Ow. Oh, ammo. Still. I did remark on some shoddy shells earlier. Hopefully we won't need him on this job. Do for you tonight? Um, what else do you know with the wrinkles of your brain? Concerning? Ah. Uh. Specifically? Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> a tactical nuke? Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. Ah, uh, Mercury, you're smarter than everyone gives you credit for. Specifically? How about... A flamethrower, that'd be real handy against other vampires. Oh yeah, I get a lot of requests for those. I blend the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. That sounds like fun. Specifically? How about a sniper rifle? Not easy, even in this country. Military grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo could take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Ah, oh, God bless America. Specifically? How about a combat shotgun? What you want is a Spaz 15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen them in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. A few nights work. Nice. I guess we should get on with it. Let's see what the Thin Bloods are up to. Don't let me stop you from going in. <laughs> oh. Damn, she sounds seductive when she says that. Easy. Uh, e evening. Mm. Pardon me. How about you? Oh, brother. How about you, eh? Evening. Alright, well, they got nothing to say. So, next time, we're gonna hop on that little boat there. And we're going to go from that little boat to that little boat. And on that little boat, we'll find things like police officers and uncarned sarcophagus and probably bloody murder. Until then, farewell. <laughs>